Brew, I believe. Yes. So but uh, let's move on to the co-main event of the evening, which is another women's title fight. We got the women's strawweight championship, which is between Zhang Wei Li, who's 21 and 1 and is the minus 190 favorite, going up against Rose Nabajunas, who is 10 and 4 and is the plus 150 underdog. What do you see in this matchup? Honestly, I thought I thought the numbers were going to be more similar to Valentina and Jessica with this fight, just because people are really high on Zhang. Um, there are a lot of layers to this fight. First, you have the comments Rose made about communism, right? So you take the fight away, and then there's those ill, you know, those comments. Then you have the legacy aspect for this fight, and then you have the quest for Rose to win her title back. Every time people doubt Rose, she comes up with a win, the win, but. Zhang may be the strongest fighter Rose has faced. Uh, despite both having wins over f the former boogie woman of the division and Joanna, both of Rose's wins were decisive, where Zhang's fight with Joanna went to a split decision. I think there are a lot of people who forget that because of how bad Joanna looked after that fight, it went to split. I think the outcome of this fight could be determined by who can get the fight to the ground. Zhang is, has a good armbar. And is no slouch on the ground, but if Rose can get the fight to the ground, I think she's going to win. So I'm going to go with the underdog, first underdog pick in the night for me. I'm going to go with Rose by second round submission. I think she's going to lock in a Kimura. I see. I don't. I don't think Rose knows what she's getting into with this fight. Uh, she has that championship experience, which is crazy. She's only ten and four, and she won a championship already. And she, this is her, I think, third title fight. Uh, total going into it, so yeah. that's almost a, a fourth of our fights have been title fights. But the thing that I see in uh, Zhang Wei Li that maybe others don't see is is her production. She 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 averages six uh, significant strikes a, a minute, and her output is a lot because she's so quick. She's like a machine. She just keeps on going, 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 and just like with the Yohan, like a lot of people put it as a split decision, but in that fight, I had it for the one uh, Zhang Wei Li because she was just out producing uh, Joanna. Like, Joanna was able to get some in, but it was just like boom, boom, boom. There's a reason why her face looked so fucked up, but then uh, Zhang Wei Li looked like she didn't get hit that much because she was doing so much damage. Then the name of the game is doing damage. You can hit somebody and win by like uh, by just doing 100 light punches. But if you're doing 60 to 40 and then your damage output is three times as much as your opponent, you're going to know that you won. And that's why they went with Zhang Wei Li, not just because she was the champion, but because of her output of damage. Rose hasn't fought anybody like this. Like Even you can say, even if she had fought Shevenko, uh, there's nobody like uh, uh, Zhang Weili. Like with, she's small, but she puts in a lot of sh power within her striking. She can do a lot. Her gas tank seems like it's unlimited. Uh, like she could go seven, eight, nine rounds because that's what she's trained for. And one tidbit fact: she, her one loss was in her debut, uh, yeah. pro debut. She lost her very first fight, and now she has ran off 21 straight wins. And, and she's only fought that like, to get the title fight. It's crazy that when she got into the UFC, she fought five times in the span of a, a year to earn that fight. I think she did five, four or five in six months. Then she, she took six months to get ready for the, for the title fight, won that, then took another six fights for the Ioana fight to defend it. And then now it's been a year and two months since that Ioana fight. Uh, between now defending it again, so she, she has she she's had the longer layoff by by a couple months over Rose, but I feel like with Rose, uh, not like I I don't think she's gonna take her seriously. I think Rose is just gonna come in and be like, okay, I'm Doug Rose, like you're gonna respect me, and uh, she's gonna overlook uh, the the champion, which is crazy to think. But I think uh, I think uh, Whaley's gonna come in here and knock her out in the third round. Okay. I don't think Rose is going to go in there and under, underestimate her. She knows how much of a threat Whaley is. You know, 21 and 1 speaks in volumes to your opponents. Um, 
Ro like I said earlier, like Rose is always counted out of these fights. She was counted out in the Entourage fight. She was counted out in the Joanna fight. She's known as the underdog. You know what I mean? So the Thug Rose stuff is when she's in the cage and she's throwing hands and she's like knocking people out and choking them. But she's, I don't think she's ever underestimated these people. This is this is a huge fight for her. And like I said, this is a legacy fight for both of them because they're they're both stacked contenders and ch former champion and champion in that division. I'm curious to see, let's say Wei Li wins, right? This this was a very hard fight for me to pick, by the way. Uh, but let's say Wei Li wins. Do they then talk about the super fight with Valentina instead of Valentina versus Amanda? Do you think Zhang goes up to one what, 125? Do you think she goes up to fight Valentina? Because, I mean, Wei Li's a beast. She's a monster. Like, she, I am not slouching and think overlooking her either with this pick. I'm just going to pick Rose because I always pick Rose when she fights. But this is a, you know, this is a dangerous fight for anybody, whether you're in 115, 125, you know, 105 if they ever do that. That'd be interesting to see if uh, Zhang Weili would uh, consider moving up and, and doing that uh, that super fight because that would be that'd be fireworks because you got yeah. two people that are really quick. Quick with their striking, and then both put out put out a lot of volume. Like I think they're one and two, and within the women and overall within uh, production, yeah. uh, just just like I said, I think it's six strikes per minute for Ray Lee, and then five per minute for Shavenko. So that would, that would be a like a big time fight just for the women. It, it, it make like a big matchup, just like Cyborg and Nunez. Yeah, so th this would, th would go up there. The one thing that I looked at that made the decision for me, uh, Zhang Wei Li, was the common opponent, which was Jessica Andrade. Uh, Andrade was able to beat Rose, and then she got beat in the ma second matchup by Rose. But then you got. Sang Wei Li, who just dominated Andrade, she dominated her production. She knocked her out. It was just, it was just bad. Like yeah, it was like that, that. First, like that first win against Rose was a fluke. Rose was winning that fight the entire fight, and all it took a slam, like a crazy slam, for her to to lose that fight. That's all it took for um, for Rose to lose. But that yeah, Wei Li versus Andrade, there's a conspiracy theory that a lot of people thought that. Andrade took the fall, kind of like Ben Askren taking the fall against Jake Paul. Yeah. I, I'm not on that side. I expected so much more out of Andrade because of who she is. She's a brawler going up against another brawler, and she got handled easily. Like you said, easily she got handled. There's something to it. I don't know if it was the fleet because that fight was in China. I don't know if it was a time delay, but there was something to that fight that Andrade didn't look like her normal self. She looked timid. She looked scared, kind of, uh, in my mind. You know, she might have went there and I'm like, I'm fearless. But to me, she looked a little scared. But that, to me, that's just Zhang Wei Li. She's coming in, like you said, yeah. China. She's undefeated in the UFC. The output, like, you, yeah. you could say what you want about Rose and how, how, she, how she's tough and tough as those. But when you get hit by Wei Li, like it, it's gonna hurt a lot. Like, she, and then she put she pours it out into there. Like, and now, like you said, Andrade's fighting somebody again just like that. It's just that she has that path to victory against Shevchenko yeah. that she can utilize. You, there's really no like path to victory right now against uh, Zhang Wei Li. It's just you're gonna trade with her and hope you can drop her or hope that you can exploit something that hasn't been seen before. I think it's the ground game. Yeah, which is which is that like we have to see that. And right now, uh, quick note: uh, Zhang Wei Li, her takedown defense is at one hundred percent right now. Yeah, she has never been taken down. But she's also not fighting a lot of wrestlers or a lot of ground yeah. practitioners. You know what I mean? Joanna's not going to take you to the ground. Joanna's going to stand there and trade. Jessica's going to yeah. stand there and trade. Rose. Uh, you know, her foundation is wrestling jujitsu. So I'm curious to see. That's why I think she's going to get the sub because I think she's going to wear her out. But I will, right here, will say that I would never get in the cage with any of these women because I think they would all nope. kick my ass. Nope. And I'm 6'5". Uh, yeah. I'll, I tower over them. They'll still kick my ass. Yeah. 
So you got you got a, a rose a rose by submission, and then I got yeah. Zhang Weili by a third round uh, knockout. 